Team Bochink. Lycee. Lycee. Everybody wants Lycee. I am. Do you Lycee? Everybody wants a little extra money in their pocket. Right? God is the provision, the provider, the El Shaddai, the man that gives. Oh, and we want jewelry. Why do we want jewelry? Because Chinese New Year has the fish, the sign of the Lord. What does it say, guys? It is a full of salt. So, so what is it? Is there an English Prosperity, fortune, longevity. Blessing. This is ancient writing of the Chinese. No. And they wanted to be blessed yes. you know, coming in and blessed going out. You know, some of the Chinese that are older hang it upside down in front of their homes and their businesses. So the blessing of God can come in so full. It'll go out to all the people. Around them. You know, don't you phone more? Oh, I want to talk to you about a team of people you know, that have going. researched Shandi, the god of China. You know, Shandi sounds like Father God. We don't know for sure, you know, but in the records of the Chinese. They use characters and letters that talk about creation. They talk about blessing. They talk about time with family. You know, uh, want to talk about the first time, it's not our now, it's the first time of the first time. There was a Chinese very early time of the first time. 一個天主,一個概念 Dr. Ethel um, Nelson is with the Creation website and she did a study in a report and found out that some of the records the Chinese kept 2,500 years ago and the Chinese were here 450 hundred, well, well a, long a long time, let's put it that way 原來講緊這個研究所研究了,已經2800年前,中國已經很清晰有一個天主這個概念。In Confucius's writings, he writes about the Lord of the Harvest. He writes about God being created, everything here. In some of the later writing, it's, it's written about the Tower of Babel and the blood. Then, then Buddhist, Buddhism came in and Hinduism came in and Taoism came in. But not until after they wrote about Shandi, the unknown God. Now, 
a lot of people say, well, what the West brought Christ to China. You know, a lot of people think that the West brought Christ to China. The Chinese are one of Noah's sons. Did you know that? You know, but the Chinese are one of Noah's sons. And when God said for the people to scatter, He sent the Chinese to the east. You know, the Chinese are one of the people who went to the east, one of the people who went to the east. And who was on the west? In the east side, where were we? We weren't even. Not me, not the East Asian. Jerusalem was on the west. The East Asian people were on the west. In the writings of the Chinese, it shows that Jerusalem was there one thousand years on the west. You know, in China, the records also have records of Jerusalem. This place. The Chinese didn't know they were there. They were just a little ways away. In other words, they already knew that there was a place in the East called Jerusalem. And how do we have Jewish tribes in China? You know, we have Chinese also have a few Jews of the Jewish people who are in China. Why? When Moses was making sacrifices to God, blood sacrifices, he was sacrificing the lamb without spot or blemish and the bull. Without spot or blemish. Now, we talk about Moses who made sacrifices to God. He also used a lamb and a bull. And in Beijing today, they have the Temple of Heaven. And guess what it has? It has a marble place. Where the Chinese could sacrifice bulls and lambs to Shandi, the unknown god. Now, in Jiangsu, there is a place where 